Okay, so, uh, Mert, thank you. I'm not really sure what to do with this. Now, I've had this for a while. Uh, it was a little too wet when it showed up. So I've had it out. Actually, it was just sitting over there in the kind of the direction of the heater. Now, it's it's shrunk up quite a bit. We got 11 and yeah, 3 quarter this way and 12 inch this way. So it's, it's, it's shrunk like a football. Uh, and when I tested it, it was like 6% or... But you know that test only goes so far in. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use Mert's center here on my circle cutting jig. Make this 11 and a half inches. Uh, and well, as best as I can. Uh, my conflict is I kind of like all this lumpy, but I don't want to lose all the pretty that's inside this burl. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that the 11 and a half inches. I'm gonna set it down inside. Uh, Oops, sorry about that. Inside of the here, once it's round, again going off a of Mert center. I don't know what colors I'm going to use, but I'm trying to fill all these voids with those colors, and then we'll. So, and then I'm going to have this resin rim around the outside of it. Hopefully, uh, I may. <laughs> you see, it's not straight this way either. So I may, I may stick it in the lathe and see if I can flatten that up, or, or just put the resin in there for now. I don't know what colors I want to go with. I might just, maybe I'll just dump some in first, set it to that, and that way I'm not using so much. I just pick a color or go with clear, something like that. But I don't know what colors to dump in here and to fill in some of these cracks, which are not going to fill them in perfectly because it's not going to be under pressure or anything. But I, I think this is the route I'm going to go, just to fill in the voids so that when I get this, because I, I don't know what this is, and I've cleaned it up a little bit with a wire brush some sort of mold which most likely will turn off talking too much again <laughs> all right let me get let's get to that we'll we'll get it cut over there So I just eyeballed it all the way around. I mean, I kind of eyeballed it. I, I did run around with a tape measure, so we're roughly the same all the way around. So all I'm gonna do right now is pour, because I have to pour this in layers, pour it all over heat and, you know, bubble and crack and that. So first one's just gonna be clear, because we're most likely gonna turn some of it off anyways. But if it stays, it'll be all right, because you can see through it to the colors that I'm gonna add. So all I'm gonna do is just around the bottom for now. It may be a bit more than I wanted.
Maybe you can only get it off so many times. Haha, <laughs> here we go. Haha! <laughs> Alright, I knew this was gonna happen. And because of this, I poured extra and I'm gonna turn that away and throw it on the floor. So get it out of your system now. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm gonna re drill this hole so I can get it back on the worm screw. And then uh, you can see what I was talking about here. Uh, so, I'm gonna turn quite a bit of that away till I get the wood and the resin as one. Now, the only thing I don't care for is how the, the resin separated. There's nothing I can do about that. Still spinning. Okay, so <laughs> 450 right now until I get this a little more balanced. I've sand, sanded that edge because it was really sharp. Now really what I want to do right here is the, the, the bump. This piece right here push my, my tailstock center off so I'm gonna get rid of that so I'm not hitting it so that the tailstock isn't going like this. So as you can hear, my lathe isn't agreeing with this, so whatever. Now that the heater's gone, 
<laughs> so what I do have is a big rip right around here. Yeah, you can see it there, and you can also see there's some tear out here. So I'm going to sharpen up some tools. I'm going to try to round this out and get this out. Get my mortise in here. This is going to be my foot that's established. But like I said, i gotta, I got to try to remove that right there. And, and it's kind of, there's a hard, a hard curve there, so I'm going to try to flow that in a little bit better. That's my plan anyways, so. All right, well, for right now, I'm feeling that's gonna disappear, most of it anyways. And I think I'm just gonna leave it like it is. So, we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna get the logo burn in and do some sanding. So I'll bring it back in when we burn the logo and start finishing, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so I'm still up in the air about what to do with a finish on this. Do I spray with lacquer? I don't know. I've sanded to 1200 grit just on the rim here. I'm pretty disgusted with my abilities on doing resin at the moment. Uh, so, I mean, <laughs> I can still see scratches in it, but I cannot feel those things. Uh, with this big cavity, it, it's kind of difficult to sand this. So, I'm going to. Put some sand and sealer on here and then I really don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> put lacquer on it uh, I don't have enough to finish this so I'm gonna put a couple coats on I gotta run and get some I give this time to dry get it flipped over and we'll turn the other side Christmas Eve I don't even know if anything's open oh yeah I know y'all are watching this after Christmas remember how to do this here Alright, round two. I don't know what this, why this isn't a gloss finish, but here's what it is. I mean, if I get get the new cans and they come in as a gloss, I'll just put another one over top of this. And we should be good. Now, this is round two, and then I'm going to go get some more. And I think I'm going to paint it from this side so I can see what I'm doing, maybe. Ah, I don't know. You don't know. Um, yeah. Awesome stuff. 
guys are all in this spider web stuff everywhere. <laughs> I think it's still wet. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was lying. <laughs> You know, I'm gonna put just a sanding sealer on it, and I got I got I got a lot of leveling here to do because this is all moved with the bowl itself. Even though this is rigid, but this has got some lumps in it. I need to sand out because it's moving. And I will not force any of you to watch that. That's really cool looking. <laughs> There's a little bit of a whoop-de-doo right here. I couldn't get out, and I was afraid I was gonna get a really bad catch. So um, I'll just see if I can sand it out with some. Just this one right here, all the way around right there. So if I can get it sanded out of there, which it shouldn't be a problem, and a little bit of ridge right here, you can see them there and there and there and there and there. <laughs> all right, and again, I am tired of sanding. Again, up to 1200 grit, just on the, the resin. I'm gonna give this some sand and sealer. And we'll give it a little bit of a sandy sand there and get the, the finish back on it again. A little bit of deburring. Deburring on this up here. Not that it's got any burrs on it. We're gonna go with it like that. So we're gonna make sure I don't have any. We gotta get all that dusty out of there. The dummy forgot to push the button. So anyways, this is what's left of my other stuff. Uh, it says gloss. It's kind of a satin finish. The new stuff's got a little bit more shine to it. Uh, so I'm just going to finish this off like I did the other side. And 
will go from there. I can't really see, so. It went too fast. <clears throat> I can't see it down in there, and I don't want the runs. Stupid here. But anyways, you see the, the dull spot, right? There, 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 there. <laughs> All right, so if I didn't mention it before, I'll put it at the end, a link to Merck's channel. Can it be turned? Uh, thanks, Merck. Um, this is the first real burl I've turned. I mean, I've got some, but it's not nice as this, you know. <laughs> but you see, I got a, see the dull spot in the center. And that's because some dummy couldn't see what he was doing and got run. So I wiped it out with lacquer thinner as it was spinning. And I need to put another, another coat or so on it. But to show you I don't need to do that, <clears throat> uh, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Uh, I've always wanted to do the big deep rim like that. And it's just like I, I get to go on. I'm like, oh, I don't want to turn away all that wood. But, you know, theoretically, I'd turn it all the way from the inside anyway. So, uh, logo is in the bottom. It's got a smile in it. <laughs> it was wet. Uh, I, when I checked it, like that meter only goes like an inch or so in. And I said it was like 6%, which is fine, you know. Uh, when I got in the inside, it hit in the red 12% plus or whatever it is, something like that. Uh, it's uh, actually Christmas morning right now uh, nobody's here yet <laughs> you know you guys are watching this on Friday so I hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and hope you have a happy and safe New Year's and we will see you all next week I'll put pictures up of this at the end and links to where's he at right there merch channel uh, at the end if I didn't put it somewhere in the beginning of the video I'm not sure yet what I'm doing <laughs> Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down, and we'll see you all next week. <laughs>